Hello, my name is Janelle Trey. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you'd like to see how I made this unit, continue watching. So for this unit, you're going to need a mannequin head. Here. And I got this here from Winnie. I'll leave the link in the description box below. It came with instruction manual. In the instruction manual, it shows you how to wash the hair, how to comb it. So in the hair, I got a 10 inch closure, 10 inch, 12 inch and 14 inch bundles. As you can see, the weft is very thick and the hair is very full and soft. You're also going to need a spun dome style wig cap. Needle and thread. You're also going to be needing a hair clip. I was hiding the scissors from my daughter, a scissors, some tea needles, and a rat tail comb. So now I'll be putting on the dome cap. I'm just showing you guys how to do it. Make sure the hairs are covered. Make sure it's uh, the lines on the dome cap are aligned with the arch of the eyebrow. Then you're gonna install the closure. You wanna make sure the closure is laying flat. So what you do, you are gonna cut like a inch or a half inch off the closure. When installing the closure, I like to put mine a little bit over the dome cap. Then you're gonna use the T needles to pin the closure in place. So after you have pinned the front the closure in place, then you're gonna secure it, you're gonna sew it with the needle and thread. You're gonna sew the closure onto the dome cap. You wanna make sure you're not sewing the elastic band because it will get tight if you do that.
so in this clip I did it slow so you guys could see how I'm sewing so I did under then I took one end of the thread put it over the needle then I pull it through that's the method I'm using So now I'm going to be installing the first bundle or the first track. So what you want to do, you want to pin that in place and then you start sewing. Like I said before, you want to make sure you're not sewing the elastic band on the dome cap because it will get tight, trust me, it will. So I went ahead and finished sewing the first bundle, now I'm on to the second bundle. So whenever I start doing a track or a new track, I like to put the needle through the weft and then I make a knot. So I know that went by a little too fast, but now I'm showing you guys how I tie the knot whenever I finish, whenever the thread has finished. So this is what I do. I wrap it around the needle three times and I pull it through. Then I cut about four inches from where I did that and then I tie another knot.
So now I'm on to the last bundle, and that's the 10 inch. So I was gonna double the weft, then I realized that the hair would be too thick or too big, so I had to start doing it single. So this tutorial is very beginner friendly so like I said you would be using the T needle so what you're gonna do you're gonna pin the track in place with the T needle then you're gonna cut and then you're gonna sew. So this is what the finished product looked like and the hair is so soft, there is nothing on the hair, the hair is so soft, the curls are very nice, I love the curls, they look so natural. So now I'm going to be using just water and condition and uh, mixing this bottle and then I'm going to spray it all over the hair. You're gonna use a Denman brush, just a regular Denman brush you can pick up at the beauty supply. So you're gonna use that and comb through the hair, comb the product through the hair.
Look at those curls, you guys. Look at those curls. They're so pretty. I love this here. I love this here. So now you're gonna part the middle. You're gonna give it the center part. So now we're gonna be using some mousse on the top of the hair just so it can look flat and natural. So because this video is very beginner friendly, I would recommend you using a mousse instead of a hot comb or a flat iron. It's easier to use or it's easier to work with. So guys, this is the finished product. This is how it looks with the conditioner water on it. As you can see, I'm running the rat tail comb through it without any knots, no tangle. It is so pretty. So there you have it guys, I hope this video was helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment and I'll catch you in my next video, bye!